Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the Nimbus paddle from A11N Sports. They sent this to me to review, so I thank them for that. And um, this is a paddle intended for recreational players, and so when I'm doing my review today, just keep that in mind when I'm referencing some of the specifications about this paddle. Speaking of the specifications, let's move on. Uh, the paddle is 7.8 inches wide. It's 15.7 inches long. The grip length is 5 inches. The grip circumference is 4 inches. The core is 12 millimeters. And it's got a graphite face. So let's move on to the pop and power of this paddle. Well, because of the 12 millimeter core, it definitely has a lot of pop. You'll feel the ball pop off the face of the paddle quite a bit, um, which is gonna make dinking a little difficult. It does, however, lack some power. We'll get back to that a little bit more when we talk about the weight of the paddle, um, because I think that's probably contributing to the pa power of this paddle more than anything else. But I didn't really feel like I could generate um, as much power as I could with this paddle as I can with some of the other premium paddles that are out there, and that's to be expected. So the spin and control of this paddle, well, like I said, it's a recreational paddle. They're not taking in consideration an amateur player who might be playing in tournaments or who wants to improve their game. This is aimed at people who just want to have a set of paddles to go out and play, play with while they're on vacation or maybe use with their kids who might not really be interested in pickleball, but uh, you know they're gonna begrudgingly play with their parents. So you're not gonna get a ton of spin with this. Um, certainly if you're slicing at it with the paddle, you'll, you'll generate spin, that, that's kind of normal, but you're gonna lose the control that you would normally have with a paddle that's got a grit or a textured surface. So when it comes to the weight of this paddle, the specifications that they sent to me were that it was 7.8 to 8.2 ounces, give or take uh, half an ounce or half a gram. I'm sorry, half a gram. Mine weighed in at 8.3 ounces. So it's beyond the, the, the general weight of this paddle. I think because of that weight, because it's on the high end, this paddle is, the power that it is generating is coming from the weight of this paddle. And that certainly affects the speed of the paddle as well. I don't really feel like this paddle moves very well back and forth in my hand. It feels very heavy, it feels slow. Again, however, it's a recreational paddle, not really the kind of paddle that's designed for someone who's gonna play multiple times a week. So as far as the appearance goes, I like the bright colors. I like the design on it. Um, I believe this comes in a number of colors like red and blue and I think maybe even orange. They're definitely looking at, again, the, the people who want to grab something that's flashy and colorful and just they're out there to have fun. Maybe they don't know the rules that well. Uh, again, they're a recreational player and they're not going to be playing with any kind of regularity. The grip feels good, even though it, it is short for my hand, but it does feel good in my hand. I don't, when I squeeze on the handle, I don't feel any sharp edges. And I've had some premium paddles where when I squeeze, I feel a sharp edge. So this is, feels really good in my hand, despite the fact that it's short. And I mean, you know, two-handed backhands are going to be I mean, you can see there how much my hand is hanging off of the edge of the paddle and I'm pretty choked up on it. And if I get way down there, so it's definitely a short paddle, short handle paddle. Recreational players probably aren't going to be doing two handed backhands or forehands. So it makes sense um, that they made that design choice. So let's talk about some of the accessories that come with these paddles. Um, you get in the package that they provide, you get two paddles you get four balls and you get a bag to carry all of that equipment in. So that's really nice. Their website says that they have a one year warranty on their paddles from manufacturer's defects. Um, given how this is designed, if this gets any kind of extended amount of play, 
I think the graphics on this will probably end up wearing out. Uh, in the short amount of time that I played with it, there's no flaws on it. So it is fairly durable, but I think if this is something you're going to go out with a couple times a week to play with, you can expect the graphics to start to wear off. That's not necessarily a warranty issue. Um, the, it is all one piece. I did pull the grip off. It is one piece all the way down the propylene honeycomb propylene core goes all the way down into the handle. So it's one piece. You're not really going to worry, need to worry about that snapping off or anything like that. And it seems like a very durable product. I'm pressing on it. I don't hear any crackling and it's not bending or flexing or anything like that. So on to the price and value of this. A11N Sports just released these paddles and you can get the set for $59.99. Like I said, that includes two paddles, a bag, and four balls. And so you're getting a pretty good deal with that, I think. Are there cheaper packages out there? Yeah, $49, $39. Uh, usually on sale or something like that. So, but $59.99 is, is, a, is a pretty good price. And I think you'll find that um, for the recreational player, for someone who just wants to get out there and dink the balls around for a little bit, that's a fairly reasonable entry level for someone who it just wants to maybe play on the weekends or something like that. So who is this paddle for? Well, it's definitely for the recreational player, the beginner. If it's a beginner whose aim is to improve and actually make this um, a regular thing for them, A11N Sports has some other paddles that might be a better option for them. But again, if you just want a set of paddles to have around the house that if someone says, hey, let's go play pickleball or you want to teach someone to play pickleball, this is a good set to have around the house. You don't have to worry about them damaging them or breaking them or anything like this. Um, I, I can't really say that it's a power control or even an all-rounder paddle just because of the design of it and the intention of it as, it, as a recreational sport item. So we'll just say it's for the recreational player and, and leave it at that. So once again, I want to thank A11N Sports for sending me these paddles to review. Um, I, again, I really like the way they look. I like the feel of the grip. Those are two very positive things, I think, about the paddle. And they seem to be quite durable. And I look forward to working with them in the future and maybe trying out some of their other products. I would recommend this, again, to anyone who wants to have a set of paddles hanging around for the kids, the grandkids, who might not really be into pickleball but just want to hang out with uh, mom and dad or grandma and grandpa and uh, for someone who doesn't want to have to worry about handing a paddle over to someone and it's going to get damaged uh, you know you got a hundred dollar paddle you don't really probably want to give that to someone who might break it so a, a good product for that and for for that person who's just maybe you know going to go out and play a couple games on the weekend while they're at uh, on a picnic in the park or something like that. So uh, that's it from me right now. The next paddle that I have to review is one that I've really been anticipating. Uh, I'm not going to uh, share what that is right now, but I'm really looking forward to sharing that review. And until next time, I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. Bye.